Hey guys, welcome back to Little Boy Customs. Today we're going to work on this bed and mainly this center gap that runs down the side of the bed. Let me get you in close so you can see it. That gap right there, we're going to work on that and try to get rid of it. So I've been trying to work on getting the bed ready for primer and uh, I haven't done anything to it for two months since we put that Skyco chemical on it to make sure that there's not any rust on it. And uh, I haven't done anything else to it other than sand it back down to get the scale off of it. And as you can see, there's still not any rust on the bed. So that chemical that we used is pretty good to keep it from flash rusting. But what I really wanna work on is this gap that runs all the way down this bed here. It has a uh, silicone type stuff that's in it, or, or seam sealer uh, from the factory. And I wanna get this out of there, and then I wanna actually make this seam go away. So the easiest way that I have found to get this seam sealer out of there is to use one of these four inch grinding wheels. And it actually fits right in there really well. So we're gonna use the air compressor and grind out all this seam sealer first. Get that out of the way and then weld up the side of this truck. All right, now that we have all the seam sealer knocked out of this bed, which didn't take very long, uh, there's two ways that we can actually fill this seam up. We can either use Bondo or we can weld in the seam first and then go over the top of it with Bondo. My plan is, is that I'm gonna weld it first and then bondo it. It may not be the right way, but that's how I'm gonna end up doing it. So, let's get to welding in this seam. Here's what it looks like before I start welding it. As you can see, all the uh, body of the uh, seam sealer is out of there now. It did knock out some of the rust, but that's okay uh, because before we put the bondo on, then we'll wipe the entire side of the truck down again, make sure there's not any contaminants on it or anything like that. All right, so if you've gotten this far, one of two things is going through your head. Either one, man, my welds are looking pretty good. Or I just really effed up my truck. Why did I weld the side of the bed? Let me bring you in close and let you see what I've done. Here's my welds. And remember, a grinder make what a welder ain't. So either, either way, regardless, Next step I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get my grinder out with a flappy disc on it and I'm going to smooth all this out as much as I can. So there's some high spots in here and I'm going to knock those down. And then I did go ahead and weld the top of the bed up. Uh, there's a couple of holes in mine and so I wanted those closed up also. So I welded them up too. I'm going to use a flappy wheel in order to grind them down flat as well. And... Uh, then we'll start working on the worst product that I hate the most, and that's Bondo. So uh, don't be like me. Buy the cheapest Bondo you can find, which is the Bondo brand Bondo. Because uh, when you mix that stuff up, you only have about three minutes before it gets hard. And so you have to be careful about the amount that you mix and how far you're going to work with it. I like putting mine on super thin. That way I don't have to worry about uh, sanding as much of it down. But if you're going to do so that like I am then you want to go down to a local paint shop where you can buy paint at find out what brands of bondo they have not the bondo brand but similar stuff there is other stuff out there i don't know the names of them right off the top of my head that will let you uh the cure time is a lot longer and so therefore you got a lot more time to work with it and get it onto the car unfortunately i bought the cheapest stuff i could find and so therefore i am going to be uh working pretty fast with the Bondo in order to lay it down.
you just want it to be kind of even level uh, as you see it's not perfect down through here but remember we're putting bondo over all of this which is always our favorite part yay bondo said nobody ever hopefully this little setup right here will help get y'all a little inside closer look we'll see So I got two bondos here. One is this off-purpose bondo. The other one is this body filler style bondo. Both of them are about the same. Doesn't matter, really, which one you use. So in order to get this bondo junk out of this can, you can always try to pour it. That's always, but I like getting these uh, sponge style brushes. Once you take the sponge part of it off, it looks like this right here. And it usually, will help you get stuff out a lot quicker. Now this is probably way too much Bondo before I, the three minutes passes. And I'll so, show you what I'm talking about if you haven't ever worked with this crap. So what happens is you have your mech putty crap there and then you're gonna have a, a hardener. And uh, you're just supposed to put a little bit of the hardener with it and mix it up. Something like that. Now we'll start mixing this up. Once we get this completely mixed up, you only have about three minutes before the Bondo is now hard. So you gotta work kind of fast. So I'll just start down here and we'll start putting a little thin layer of it. What I'm trying to do is also kind of cover up this weld where I seam the truck back together. Now this looks like crap. This is not what I meant by saying I was going to do a thin layer.
All right, now that we have all the mud onto the uh, side of the truck, we are going to move the truck outside, which I have right out there. I did that in order to sand the uh, Bondo off the side of the truck. That way, whenever I did that, the sand uh, dust that it creates doesn't stay inside my shop. It's a pretty nice day here in Texas. It is a little windy, but uh, as far as temperature wise, it's about 70-ish something degrees here. So it's a pretty nice day here. Let's get busy and start sanding on the side of this truck. Before I get started, I wanna show you what the truck actually looks like with the mud on it. It's really, really rough looking. Uh, and I was kinda of just slopping and flopping on getting the uh, Bondo onto the side of the truck because it cures super, super fast. So here's what the truck looks like. And as you can see, I was just kind of slapping it on there. It's not real pretty looking. It's definitely not thin. And uh, so it's going to do a lot of sanding in order to get this to look a lot better. Let's get started on that, getting the sanding going. And then uh, I'll show you what it looks like after I get done sanding it. All right, so I stopped here just for a second so I can show you what's going on. I'm sanding on the lower half down here first, and as I'm doing this, I'm not getting all of the uh, dents and all that stuff out because this truck's got dents all over it. So I'm just trying to get this seam filled here. And in doing so, if you notice, I am th sanding this down pretty thin here to where it's smooth, but yet it's still causing, if you can see here, there is a line here from the sander. That means everything above that is excess Bondo. So what I do is I get in here and make sure that my dent is uh, there where the metal is supposed to turn back towards at the top here. And then once I do that, then I sand the top of this here back down to make it smooth again to get rid of this line that's right there. And when you do that, it looks more like this over here. So. I'm just telling you that in case you've never done Bondo work or anything like that, you kind of get an idea of what's going on right here. It still has some pits in it and things like that, so I need to come back and kind of sand in right there a little bit more to get that pit out of there, and then come at the top side and just sand the top until these two match and this line is not here all anymore.
All right, after sanding the whole thing, we have finally finished that. Um, it looks pretty good. It's not perfect, but uh, remember this is gonna be my shop truck pretty much. So it's just gonna be my run into town, pick up parts, grocery getter, whatever you wanna call it. It's gonna get more door dings as uh, life goes on. And uh, so I don't wanna pull all the dents out of it. I don't want it to be a perfect looking truck. It doesn't need to be a show truck. It will go to shows, I'm sure, but uh, it's more of a truck that anyone can touch. Even at the shows, kids can get on, whatever, it doesn't bother me. Uh, it doesn't need to be a perfect looking car. So uh, keep that in mind when you look at the Bondo job that I did. Uh, by the way, I used 80 grit sandpaper to sand the Bondo down. Normally I would go back over it with like 200 or 300 or even 400 and even get it even smoother. But like I said, it's just my everyday runaround truck when I, I get finished with it. So that's where it's at. Next step on this is going to be, uh, I need to weld this in right here. Uh, and I will not be making a video of that because you've already seen me do most of that already. But the next step after that is gonna be just getting this thing in primer and then getting it ready for paint. Uh, on the truck, we still have dash to finish and mounting the seats into it. And then we need to sandblast the, the truck cab and then get it in primer. And then the whole truck's gonna be ready for paint. So we're really, really close to finishing this. But uh, let me show you what the Bondo job looks like. It's not perfect, like I said. The side of the truck, I don't know if y'all can see down through there, but uh, it is pretty wavy. Uh, it's just the way the truck is. It's still got some dents into it, but what you're looking for whenever you're doing the bono job is you want a very smooth transition. You want to feather the edges in and then, uh, knock down the buildup as much as you can. So I think this will kind of hide the welds for the most part. It is kind of wavy where I got the metal hot. It's extremely wavy down here where I got the metal too hot. When I redid the caps up here, this area here looks fairly decent. So there's a couple little waves in it right in through here where the metal got hot when I was welding it. But as far as going down through here when I was welding this part of it, this is pretty straight as far as uh, it doesn't look extremely wavy in any of that. Now, the crown that's in this area right here, it's where the holes were covered up at. Some of them are a little indented. And then of course it still had the uh, regular door dings from its regular life before I ever got it. So I left those in there as well. So this is what the truck looks like. Let me show you the other side. This side is the worst side out of the two, but the uh, truck bed is extremely wavy right in through here. And I think that was long before me and then it has its normal waves where I welded on it down here, up in here. I just wasn't patient enough whenever I was welding it. So remember that whenever you're welding yours, I guess. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. That's gonna be it for this video here. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, be safe. Thanks for watching.